Bloomberg Gadfly. If he were alive today, the rubber and pineapple king of 1930s Singapore would surely be asking whether the custodians of his empire just sold another chunk of it too cheaply. That's the unavoidable conclusion from the drama surrounding the takeover of United Engineers Limited, where a general offer is flirting with failure after the emergence of a rival buyer willing to pay more than the price accepted by Overseas Chinese Banking Corp. Two low United Engineers, a property and construction engineering company, dates its origins to 1865 and was bought from its British owners by Li Kong Qian, the plantation's wizard who founded OCBC. It wouldn't be the first time that the Singapore Bank has faced accusations of offloading pieces of Li's legacy for less than their value. In 2012, OCBC and a subsidiary sold its stake in Fraser and Neve Limited, setting off an intense battle for the beverage maker between Thailand's richest man, Charan Sarivadana Bhakti, and Indonesian billionaire Mokhtar Riyadi. The $11 billion sack ended with victory for Charun. His purchase also spurred Heineken NV into an expensive buyout of Asia Pacific Breweries Limited. Its joint venture with F&N and the maker of Tiger Beer. OCBC shortly thereafter tried to shop its shareholding in United Engineers to Charun. When that didn't lead to a deal, the bank and its affiliates reached out to Riotti, but its transaction remained elusive. Two months ago, it was third time lucky. An investor consortium led by Chinese builder Yan Lord Land Group Limited agreed to buy 33.4% of United Engineers from OCBC and its insurance unit at $2.60, $1.93, a piece, a discount to the previous 12 months average price of about $2.65, price accepted by OCBC as $2.60 that it was a low ball bid became evident during the public offer triggered by the change of Control. On Monday, Yan Lord and co acquirer Perennial Real Estate Holdings Limited had to stretch the deadline by a week, a second extension of the tender. According to Bloomberg reporter Abhishek Vishnoi, odds have risen that the cash deal may lapse. That's because Yan Lord and associates must cross the 50% threshold for their offer to become unconditional. As of Monday, they had managed to gather only 34.79%. Should they fail to get the remaining 15.2%, the public offer would be scrapped. The fly in Yan Lord's ointment is Oxley Holdings Limited, a Singaporean builder that specializes in niche upscale projects. Oxley and its policeman turned tycoon chairman, Ching Chiat Kuang, have managed to acquire 14. 86% of United Engineers by buying at prices above $2.60. Clearly, they think there's more value in United Engineers than is reflected by the offer on the table. Bottoming out should that assessment turn out to be true. OCBC management can expect a repeat of its 2013 annual general meeting where shareholders grilled. It for selling F&N and Asia-Pacific Breweries shares at $8.88 and $45 apiece, when eventually Cherwin and Heineken paid $9.55 and $53. Back then, the bids were unsolicited and at a premium to market prices. What's the excuse this time? Singapore's rubber baron might have asked. This column does not necessarily reflect the opinion of Bloomberg LP and its owners. To contact the author of this story, Andy Mukherjee in Hong Kong and Am Mukherjee at Bloomberg. Net. To contact the editor responsible for this story, Matthew Brooker at Brooker 1 at Bloomberg. Net. 2017 Bloomberg LP.